Yeah, all right, what's up, boys and girls? Uh, I'm recording this at roughly 10.20 p.m. Central Time. And about five minutes ago, I hopped into the Dark Dave restream. And I just heard him blow up at people because he's at $6. And he was considering, or I'm sorry, people were recommending that he send out the tweet. And he kind of just threatened to ban some people and blew up at them, etc. And, you know, I just, I get lucky with the timing on a lot of these videos. Because this is like the third or fourth time where, you know, I'm, I'm already making the video and he immediately talks about it right in the moment. So, you know, that kind of trips me out. But based on the um, results of the poll that I put out yesterday, uh, I had already started working on This Man is Delusional Part 3. Uh, but I heard him send out a beg tweet this afternoon as well. And it gave me an idea for a mini video. And I went ahead and compiled a bunch of his beg tweets for the last two months. And we're going to take a look at how often he stops mid-game and begs for people to, quote, support him. Uh, it also reminded me of a video I had used a while back in which he talked about why he turned off comments on his tweets. And I want you to listen to what he says. And then we're going to look at the reality of it. Um, I also have a surprise at the end of the video. It's a few years old and was recommended to me by someone. And I'm not sure how many of you have seen it, but you'll get a kick out of it. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, video first. And again, just pay attention to what he says and why he turned off uh, replies to his tweets and comments, etc. Now, one thing that I'm upset about and the reason that this really upset me. So the other day it was my 11th. Twitter anniversary, 11 years on Twitter. I didn't even realize, you know, I'm thinking, damn, you know, who knew over a decade on fucking Twitter, right? And I'm looking at my Twitter account. I have over 25,000 people following me on Twitter. I'm a verified Twitter account, which not a lot of people can say. There's people who've been trying to get verified for years and can't do it. I'm a verified Twitter account, all right? I'm an account that by all means and regards, you would think that someone with that following, when they post something up on Twitter, people would interact with them. People would respond, have a conversation, people would like and retweet, and that doesn't happen for me. And you want to know why that doesn't happen for me? Trolls. These people who literally follow me around everywhere I go, everything that I do. The same people who shut down sponsorship opportunities for me, the same people who do fucked up stuff behind the scenes in my life to try to ruin my life. They have sadly mass harassed people who do positive interactions with me on Twitter to the point where people don't want to interact with me at all on Twitter anymore. All right. Every time I post up anything on Twitter, I could post up the letter P right now. And if I left open responses, you'd get 25 harassing responses, just like used to happen on my YouTube channel. It's exactly the same. All right. And shout out to hate army watch for that clip. Uh, the link will be in the description. If you want to watch the whole thing, that was from September 12th, and I originally used that in, I believe, What Did We Learn Today, Episode 4, and I titled it DSP Lies A Lot, but according to this idiot, trolls are the reason no one interacts with his tweets, and that's why people don't want to follow him slash support him, etc., etc. You know, this is why it's good to go back and review this shit. He says it in the moment, and we all know it's bullshit, but then we go back a couple of months later, and not only can we call bullshit, we can absolutely prove it 100%, and that's exactly what I'm about to do. So as we look at these tweets, keep an eye on how many likes, retweets, and comments they have. Yeah, I'm not going to waste more time looking at the replies, but just remember what he said, and then look at the reality of it. Let's see what we got. All right, let's take a look at the first one here. And I originally had these in order, but these were all screenshots from my phone. And then when I sent them over to my uh, to my computer, fucking they went out of order when I was downloading them. And I wasn't about to put 35 fucking pictures back in order. So whatever there. But we have December 11th, DSP the festive. And look at that fucking picture. It says so far. I've had a lot of fun in the Halo Infinite campaign today. The first hour was open world roaming, and now I'm going to head towards story advancement. 
Support is really slow today. So it, it would be great if you could come by, chill and help if you can. So that's December 11th. Let's see what the next one is. All right, and this one was from earlier today, this afternoon. So we just finally completed the car delivery missions in Vice City and are moving on to the printing press. Having a lot of fun. So if you can please swing by and support the stream as it has been a bit slow, thanks. All right, those first two were mid game. He puts the controller down, he takes a break, he comes back and instead of tweeting on his break, he fucking tweets while he's just sitting there. Fucking moron, man. So this was from October 12th. Thanks to everyone who chilled with me for Lost Judgment tonight. We made major progress, including a major story arc, side quest, and an entire school stories plot line as well. Support, however, was very slow, so I hope things pick up later this week when I play it three more times. Next picture. September 29th. Tonight's Kana Bridge of Spirit stream is now live, and I have jumped the gun and switched over to all of the fun October animations, including for both tips and super chats. Join me for two hours of chill fun to end my streaming week. So this guy can't, you know, nothing about his streams. It's always about the fucking money, man. It's not, oh, we added the green screen or we're switching up the gameplay to do this and that. No, it's fucking animations for super chats and tips, which involve giving them fucking money. Next picture. November 15th. So far, I'm enjoying both the Halo Infinite gameplay and my new neck phones. Since I started so late, I'm going to play for 90 more minutes straight with no break. However, support is surprisingly slow so if you could swing by and help, I'd appreciate it. I bet you would, motherfucker. Next picture. November 7th. By the way, starting today, my playthroughs for most of this month will all have licensed music in them. I am not muting it, but I have to talk about this on pre-stream right now, as I'll definitely need your support to make up for it. Thanks. November 3rd. My final stream of the week. Some more chill lost judgment is now live. Please join, and if you can, please support tonight's stream, as support levels have been very low for this game lately, and I really need the help right now. Thanks, and see you there. Remember that fucking video? Remember the clip that we just saw? People don't want to fucking come and support. By the way, seven fucking likes, no comments, one retweet. People don't want to support him because of trolls and because of all the negative shit. It's not the fact that he's constantly begging every fucking day, multiple times a day sometimes, constantly just asking for money, asking for support. This dude makes $10,000 a month and he's still got the fucking nerve to beg for support for one night, man, for one day because it's low and he's struggling and he really needs the fucking help. Next message. October 19th, look at this, a double. Tonight's Lost Judgment stream is now live. Join me for two plus hours of story-driven chill fun. Please come support the stream tonight if you can, as the earlier session was quite slow, and it'd be nice to see a hat and or fest tonight. Thanks. So that's after the first stream. And then tonight's late stream is the continuation of Lost Judgment and another major focus on story development. It's always a chill and interactive time. Today's Far Cry stream was low on support, so if you can, please swing by. I mean, he, he has to remind these fucking people every hour about the same thing over and over. And look at that first one. What is that, six likes, two retweets? Fuck out of here, man. November 2nd. We are having fun with House of Ashes on stream tonight as the alternate choices have led to some interesting differences. If you can, please swing by and help support because no lie, this is the lowest support I've had in months and can use the help, thanks. How fucking often are you gonna do this, man? How many times are you just gonna fucking repeat the same thing? I mean, this is a template, obviously. He just changes the game and that's it, man. Next picture.
and obviously he should never stop it because it's always going to work on these dumbass low IQ people. Now, as I'm recording this, I'm keeping an eye on his stream and almost on command, his servants come in, NDO with a $50 tip. And by the way, if you've never seen NDO, I suggest you look him up here on YouTube. Uh, he is the epitome of a DSP fan. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to insult his personal appearance, but he is exactly what you would expect a DSP, DSP fan to look like and to behave like. And then Slayer with the hundred dollars. This is why he puts out these fucking tweets like this every day and doesn't get questioned over it. And the people that actually do, he just blocks them and turns the comments off. These same stupid fucking people every day, same amounts every day, hundreds of dollars a week. And he just accepts it and puts out these fucking tweets saying that he's struggling and he needs the help. And look, he's at $171 now. He's a fucking scam artist. And do you see how this bullshit works? All right, next picture, October 19th. We're having a great chill stream of Far Cry 6 today with lots of great progress. However, support has been pretty slow. So if you like the game or my streams in general, please swing by and support if you can one more hour of gameplay incoming. And this one actually had 13 replies and I forgot to mention that if he follows you on Twitter, you can reply to him, you can respond to him. And again, I didn't waste time going into the fucking replies. I'm sure it was Derek repeating DSP's tweets back to him almost word for word. DSP the festive, get the fuck out of my face. All right, we got a two for one here, December 12th. We just beat the boxing club and lost judgment on stream. Now it's on to dancing and more. Please swing by and help support if you can. As for the second night in a row, the late stream has slow support. Thanks. Tonight's late, late night chill stream of lost judgment is live. This will be a big one as I will be finishing up multiple school stories and advancing the side content in a big way. Please support the stream if you can as we head into the home stretch. Just repeating the nonsense over and over. Look at tonight, $171 and he still does this shit. This man's greed knows no fucking bounds. It's never gonna end and I mean, to an extent, man, they fucking deserve it. They deserve to get taken advantage of like this. October 5th, and this one is beautiful. That positive DSP that doesn't talk shit about other people and isn't negative and doesn't give others a reason to trash him. October 5th, all the moronic streamers with a 15 year old viewer base will now be able to play this terrible game instead of complaining that Halo Infinite doesn't have Battle Royal. I'll talk about this on pre-stream. Nothing to do with the money, but there's that positive fucking guy again who doesn't say those stupid things anymore. That's a thing of the past. Another two for here, November 14th. Tonight's Forza Horizon 5 stream is now live. Join me for two plus hours of chill driving fun as we unlock cars, do stunts, and enjoy each other's company. Top tipper picks a car for next, season, next session. So please come by and support the stream if you can, and thanks. All right, earlier that same day, tonight's late stream is Forza Horizon 5 chill fun. Please join me as we race, do stunts, look for hidden cars, and try to unlock the DeLorean. Please swing by and support if you can. See you then. Looks like another twofer on November 9th. All, we just had a heavy hour of pure plot development on the Lost Judgment stream. However, for some reason, this is the slowest stream support all year. I need the help right now. So if you can please come by and contribute Thank you in advance. Again, $171 and just no fucking shame, no self-awareness. He got his eight likes and nine retweets. That might be a fucking record, DSP. Earlier that day, my final consecutive stream of this week is Lost Judgment. Join me for two plus hours of chill fun as we delve further into the serious story and wacky side content. Please, if you can, 
swing by and support the stream as I need help hitting these goals tonight. November 16th. Tonight's late stream is more lost judgment, chill fun. Same fucking thing, man. Please join me for some great side questing, quirky missions, and a great interactive time. And please support if you can, as these later streams have lagged a bit in the last week. See you then. And remember, nobody wants to follow him because of trolls and all the positive shit he puts out. And people just are fucking harassing him. That's why nobody wants to tweet on his shit. Nobody wants to interact with them, etc. And look at this. It's literally the same robotic shit every fucking day. October 5th. Well, all, as expected, because I kept the licensed music in the playthrough to make it as awesome as possible, my first batch of Alan Wake remastered vids have been completely claimed for music on YouTube. If you like this playthrough, please support it via a method in the vid description. You know, he's going to make, what, $10 on this fucking playthrough on YouTube through ad revenue, but somehow he needs that $171 of support to make up for it. And again, these people are so fucking dumb, they don't question it. They don't, they don't say anything. They just open their fucking checkbooks and just give it to him. These people are so fucking stupid, man. All right, and this was actually last night, and look at this bullshit. Man, after a full day of Halo Infinite gameplay, I am shot. Physically drained, and I need a break from the game. Thank goodness tomorrow I'm playing completely different stuff. Now uploading today's gameplay to DSP Gaming, thanks to everyone who chilled and supported it. This dude is shot and physically drained from playing Halo for probably about four total hours. I mean, besides his dumbass pre-stream and just sitting there talking to himself, he's drained. Also yesterday, we are having fun with Halo Infinite tonight. Thought you were drained, buddy. I am a bit rusty, but hopefully I do better in the second hour. If you can, please swing by and support the stream as it sadly has again been slow for Halo. Uh, thanks. December 5th. So far, we are having a great time on the Lost Judgment stream. I'm making a big push to finish up the bike club tonight and chilling with the viewers has been fun. It would be great to get a bit more support. So come back. So come check it out if you can. NDO, get your dumb ass in there and support. Fucking idiot. Also, December 5th. Good evening, everyone. Join me for two hours of chill, interactive fun and lost judgment as we grind out the school side stories and head into the end game. Please swing by and support if you can, as these streams have been a bit slow. Thanks. All these fucking chill, positive tweets, man. Nothing but fun, interactive shit, huh? Bitch. All right, then we got November 13th. I'm now coming back from break. And there's still over an hour of Guardians of the Galaxy to go on today's stream. If you can, please swing by and support the stream as it's been a bit slow. But those attending are having a great time. Thanks. How the fuck would you know they're having a great time? You don't even talk to them unless money comes in or unless it's Derek. But they're having a great time according to you. Fuck off. All right, October 14th, and we got a double here. Great stream of Lost Judgment tonight. This dude, every time he plays Lost Judgment, support was low, I guess. Did yet another entire school story, plus some major story advancement as well. And the audience was very engaging. I cannot wait to play more on Sunday. Thank you so much to everyone who supported in a huge way, now upping vids to DSP Gaming. And I read that one first for a reason. We are having a great time with Lost Judgment tonight on stream. However, sadly, this is the second straight stream where support is low for the game. If you can swing by and help, please do. We have three streams of it this week. Thanks in advance. So, sadly, this is the second straight stream where support is low, but they're supposedly having a great time, uh, blah, blah, blah. And then at the end of the night, great stream of Lost Judgment tonight. And the audience was very engaging. If they were so fucking engaging, why did you tweet mid-game? 
I mean, this dude's a fucking crackhead, man. He, he's, nothing makes sense. Again, it's a lot of people in his fucking head. You see it in real time. If the audience was so engaging, buddy, why did you have to stop mid-tweet? I mean, mid-game to tweet. It doesn't make any fucking sense, dude. All right, and then we got November 6th. So I will be doing overtime on the late stream tonight to finish up this second and final run of House of Ashes right now. If you can, please swing by and support the stream as right now it's pretty slow and I really need the help this week. Thanks. It feels like the 20th fucking time in a row I read the same exact message. November 19th. Just played through an incredible story segment of Guardians of the Galaxy. Awesome writing. It blew me away. Yet stream viewership dropped because I'm not playing GTA. Come on, broaden your horizons a bit. Two more hours of gameplay when I return from break. The nerve of this fucking guy. Broaden your horizons. Where's the audience? They're not engaging enough. One fucking comment, by the way. Nine likes, four retweets, one fucking comment. Are you kidding me, dude? All right, and on October 9th, DSP the festive said, Lost Judgment has returned to my live streams tonight. Please join me if you can and support the stream as the earlier one was quite slow. We'll do more school stories or main plot tonight, or will we do more school stories or main plot tonight? Let's have chill fun and find out. All, tonight is the return of Lost Judgment to streams and it will remain consistent in my schedule for the foreseeable future. That being said, support on today's first stream was very slow. So if you could swing by to chill and support, I would appreciate it. Thanks. No fucking comments on either tweet. But support is slow. He needs it, NDO. Get your dumb ass back in there, Slayer. Fucking idiots. All right, and I think you get the point. The next... 12 or so we're going to scroll by while I wrap this up and give some shout outs. And then we have a surprise at the end of the video since y'all sat through this garbage with me. I'm just tired of reading these honestly, but all these tweets were from the last two and a half months. And these are just the most obvious ones. I left off a bunch that mentioned support and how he needs the hell. You know, imagine if I compiled the entire year. This is what his Twitter is now. His streams too. But look at what happened today. He tweeted this afternoon because support was slow and he really needs the help. He ends up with $110. He's at $6 tonight at the break. And the only reason he didn't tweet was because people were mocking him in the chat and he threatened to ban people that were talking about it. And he still winds up with $171 because of two fucking people. But where's all these people that told you to turn off the comments? That they couldn't interact with the tweets because of all the trolling. Where are they? Why do most of these tweets have no messages on them and below 10 likes? It's almost like you made this shit up in your head while you were drunk on gin and playing WWE champions and a lot of people told you to do it. And by the way, thanks Slayer and NDO that $171 is gonna help him get some sweet Hogan pools. I mean, pay some bills overnight. Luckily, tomorrow's his day off. Otherwise, we might have heard his pre-stream tomorrow and some more of those pesky overnight bills came up and forced him to overdraft his account. You know, it's beautiful when you think about it. These dumbasses think they're helping him when in reality, they're digging his grave even further every time they do this shit. And I love it. I Love it. All right, let me give a shout out to JB here on YouTube. He uh, finds the vids interesting and that he studied psychology in college and that DSP would be a good case study in isolation and narcissism and said to just keep up the good work. So thank you, homie. And I think this is his second time tipping me too. So I appreciate it, brother. And then Eduardo, there was no message, but it looks like he's Rasa. So what's up, homie? And thank you for believing in me. I appreciate the tip, brother. And hopefully you enjoyed this video. I have to give a special birthday shout out to Millie. Now, she is uh, Rebus' wife, and that's not his real name, but uh, Rebus Lulcow University. I think some of y'all seen him in the chat. He's got the piggy icon. 
Uh, her birthday was last Tuesday, and I'm sorry for the delay. I forgot a couple of times, but I hope you had a great birthday, Millie. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope your man made it worth it. If not, I know a guy in Renton, Washington, that may be looking for a new soulmate, a very, a soon, a hint, a hint. All right, and now it's surprise time since uh, y'all were very good and very patient and sat through that with me. So this last clip is from Ludwig World Order, and it's absolutely hilarious. You may have seen this one because this is from April of 2018. So there's a chance you've seen it already, but you'd be surprised how many times I play a clip and people are like, I've never seen this before or, you know, I haven't seen this recently, whatever, whatever. So shout out to Jin here on YouTube and on the Discord because uh, he actually sent me the video link and reminded me about it. And that I should include it in a video for those that haven't seen it. So shout out to you, homie. I cut some of it out just to encourage you to watch the full video on his channel. And make sure you're subbed to him and drop him a like. Shout out to LWO. This fucking clip is hilarious. You're going to get a kick out of it, I promise. Um, next video is going to be up in a couple of days. Should be This Man is Delusional Part 3. Already got the video. I'm already working on it. I'm already time stamping it, etc., etc. I will talk to y'all very, very soon. Thank you for riding with me. And as always, a less a fucking a go. This is CNN Breaking News. A man at Roosevelt Park has parents worried. A woman says she caught the man fondling himself in front of children. News 13's Candace Hopkins is live at the park tonight with the latest. Candace. Dean, a woman snapped a picture of him near this playground. I brought that picture here to get reaction and instead found people who say this isn't the first time he's done this. A warning, this image may be disturbing. This image has visitors to Roosevelt Park shaken up. A woman snapped it Wednesday afternoon, then posted it on Facebook, claiming this man was fondling himself in front of children. When we came to the park with the picture, our cameras quickly spotted the same man. We also spoke with a slew of people who recognize him. Many say they aren't shocked by the fondling allegations. He needs some help and uh, the cops need to do something about it. Having seen that picture is not terribly surprising um, because I've seen him, he'll like talk to himself. Today he was like, it looked like he was laying in a mud puddle. So he, uh, he definitely has some problems. You got some idiot named DSP who's <laughs> A total piece of shit, by the way. That's pretty disturbing, and that guy's here a lot. They just try to avoid him now. APD says despite having pictures or even video like this, it would be hard to arrest him without an officer witnessing a crime. An unsettling thought for parents. You know, he really put me on, uh, off, and uh, 